What is a real estate commission? How much is it? How it's dispersed? How is it, how is it dispersed? Well, I'm glad you asked. My name is Tracy Clifton and I'm with All City Real Estate <clears throat> here in Flower Mound, Texas, a northern suburb of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. I have been a Texas realtor for the last 20 years and I would be delighted to break this down for you. First of all, it's important to know that most realtors split the commission in half with the agent who brings the buyer. So if you're a buyer calling the agent whose name is on the sign thinking, if I use that agent, I can get the house cheaper, that's not always the case. Most of the time, what you've done is just increased the listing agent's commission and denied yourself representation. If you want to know more about that, comment below and I'll make a video about it. So we're going to use 6%. And based on what I just told you, that means that your listing agent starts with 3% because they're going to pay the agent that brings the buyer 3%. Now, from 3% of the sales price of the home, there are things a real estate agent has to pay just in order to list your house. A lot of brokerages charge a real estate agent a percentage of what they sell to carry their license. I personally have always worked for a 100% broker, which means instead of giving them a portion of my commission, I pay them a certain amount monthly to carry my license. But what does that mean? A realtor in the state of Texas that is not a broker must have a broker sponsor them and carry their license. That broker is responsible for the real estate agent and therefore they have to carry insurance, arrows, errors and omissions insurance. Every deal comes with a liability and the deductible for that liability is a claim and personally, mine personally, is $5,000. That's a liability that we take with every single listing. Now, to be in real estate, you don't have to be a realtor. But if you want to use the Super and the MLS, you do have to be a Realtor. Which means you have to be associated with a Board of Realtors. The National Association of Realtors, the Texas Association of Realtors, and your local board. Mine is the Greater Louisville Association of Realtors. I have to pay twos to all three associations in order to have MLS access. I have to be a Board Associated Realtor. MLS is the multiple listing service. That is what realtors use to list homes, and we refer to it as the MLS. Also, if you want to gain access to the home, making sure that the only agents allowed to enter the home are board associated, we must be FBI background checked and fingerprinted. That's how we obtain our super key and our super boxes. Our super boxes are the boxes that go on the door that allow access to the home. They hold the keys. There's a fee associated with both Supra and the MLS listing service. And none of this includes the cost like most businesses of our offices, our vehicles, our cell phones. And because we are self-employed, are typically in a higher tax bracket. Now the cost to list the home comes with professional photography, virtual tours, websites for the home, our personal websites that we use for real estate, possibly drone photography, Google ads, Facebook ads, and Realtor.com, and Zillow. Getting your listing out to all of those places and actually being in control of the listings. All real estate agents listings that are in the MLS go to Zillow and Google and Realtor.com, but in order to be in control of them, we have to pay these entities. When the market is good, lots of people get into real estate. They think it's shooting fish in a barrel. And then they find out how much it costs to even be able to put someone in their car and show them a house before you ever have even made a dime. It's quite expensive. Lots of people think 
We just get a listing and throw it right into the MLS and sit back, relax, and we wait for the contracts to come. You know, just like they're gonna show up. And I'm not gonna say that there are not agents that don't do that. And I will say again, in real estate, you do get what you pay for. Now, the other thing you're paying for is the representation, advice, and opinion of an educated realtor. There are time frames and deadlines that must be met and disclosures that must be signed and filled out properly. And only 2% of closings actually ever get to the closing table without a licensed realtor on one or both sides. A lot of for sale by owners think that they are saving themselves the commission cost by selling their house themselves. However, the cost of a lawsuit for real estate in the state of Texas, just the beginning cost is $30,000. And it doesn't matter if you're right or wrong, if you did anything wrong, you still have to defend yourself if you get sued. Now think about it. It's really difficult to prove malicious intent in a real estate transaction, especially when there are licensed agents involved. Because we make sure sellers disclose. However, the first thought to a lot of buyers, if they bought a for sale by owner, is that they must be hiding something or they would have used a licensed real estate agent. Think about that. So just like you can defend yourself in a court of law in the state of Texas, you can also sell your home without a real estate agent. And if you're interested, comment below and I'll make a video about how you can for sale by owner a little more safely to make that happen. While real estate commissions are a large component of the seller's cost, it's also way less expensive than the cost of a lawsuit. And homes that sell with a licensed real estate agent oftentimes sell for more. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. I post videos about real estate and multi-generational living in Flower Mound, Texas. Click the bell to get notifications so that you won't miss a single one. I'm Tracy Clifton with All City Real Estate here in Flower Mound, Texas. Thanks for watching.